you guys welcome back to a monthly favorite i say this but i'm having the idea that i should call it like media of the month or some shit because i literally only cover media so also i love my new haircut because i could look like a mess and be like it's just the haircut i just look like this naturally <laughs> anyways let's go with shows first shows first okay with shows, um, I have been watching Riverdale. I'm not gonna fight against it. I've been watching it, it's the last season. If I watched the other seasons and I didn't watch this one, it wouldn't make any sense. So I've just been watching it and it's been awful. I hate watch it, but it's fine to hate watch it because it's um, it's like, it doesn't harm anyone for me to hate watch it. But I do hate watch it. Like I, it's so bad, but that's fine. <laughs> so I've been watching Riverdale. I literally wrote Riverdale lol. <laughs> but the other show that I have been watching, which no one even talked to me about it, is the last season of Barry, season four. I don't even know what's going on, man. I'll be so for real. I, I've watched this show beginning to end, and this last season is so like, I feel like the writers were on crack. <laughs> <laughs> because it's fucking crazy but do i love it as always yes i do i i dubbed it the euphoria for adults it's true it really is it's exactly the same so then we'll go into books um the first book i put here is the song of achilles and the second book is cersei um i'm greek so i want to do like a whole i'm gonna do a whole video on it might come out before this one even um the books that i've been reading and specifically the greek books that i've been reading and because i've read more than these ones but these ones were my favorite in fact the other one i read i sold <laughs> straight away but they, these two like madeline miller is clearly a very talented writer i have a lot of things to say about the concepts in general and like not just how it's written so I will you can go watch that video but did I enjoy it overall the song of Achilles and Cersei yes I did song of Achilles especially I think that was my favorite one maybe it's just because it's queer I don't know but I just loved it I think that was the most unique retelling I, I it was so beautiful I absolutely loved it <laughs> And I got so attached to the characters, which I felt like I couldn't really in the other books. But anyways, next we'll go on to movies. So I watched A Good Person and the reviews on A Good Person were super mixed. And, you know, fair enough, it's directed by Zach Braff. So like, I don't really know where everyone's expectations were, but I really liked it. I think it was cute. I think it was really sweet. I really liked it. And Florence Pugh as always great actress she slayed it okay can we are we allowed to excuse the messiness like okay we'll do it like that for, for now it's cute i look crazy anyways it's fine it's fine <laughs> and then i watched docu i've been watching so many documentaries recently um but the one that i believe was done the best was girl in a picture and it was so heartbreaking, it was so sad. It's been on Netflix for months and I only just got around to watching it. It was just so well done, so well done. Such a sad story, but so well done. And yeah, I haven't, again, been watching good movies. Something, it, I have so many that I wanna watch, but I just feel like it needs to be the right time for me to watch them, I don't know why. And then we go on to music. So at the moment I have had Feet Don't Fail Me Now by Joy Crooks on absolute repeat. To the point where yesterday I walked into TK Maxx and it was on and I just started singing. <laughs> and then Everyone's Moving Out East by Half Moon Run. Again, they released a new single. Again, it's fucking brilliant. They never let me down. Love my favorite band. Love them. Before the whole news came out, I was listening a lot to Feel Good by Slow Tie. I'll be honest, I don't really know what's going on there. I've never ever listened to him before. 
only know very little about him. So when that came out, after I started listening to Feel Good, I was like, uh, okay. And then Labyrinth. Oh, Labyrinth. Specifically, never felt so alone because Billy's verse on it slaps. Um, power Couple. Oh, Power Couple is such a good song. And there's one more. I don't want to fuck it up. Hold on. The Feels. There we go. And The Feels. Those have been the best. I also have started listening to Under the Table by Fiona Apple. I remember when Fiona Apple's most recent album came out and everyone loved it and I didn't like it at all. Like, I didn't hate it, but I just didn't get it. Or like, I just, it wasn't for me. And then my sister started playing un Under the Table and I was like, this one, this one's good. Um, and I haven't really been listening to it, but Lana Del Rey releasing Say Yes to Heaven was such a power move because she knows exactly what she's doing with that and if she can please release her other ones i'd be really grateful so yeah those were my monthly favorites for me and i'm interested to see how my monthly favorites for june go considering for the entirety of june i'll be in la um when i was last in la i came out with like so many new songs and like a whole new identity and just like favorite movies new favorite everything and i'm not saying that will happen again but i just it's very interesting i pick up a lot when i'm there so yeah that'll be really interesting to see um but thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you in my next video love you